the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame. fame, 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 fame. What up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, back again, jumping back in the medieval dynasty. Hope everybody's doing well. Shout out to you and yours. I want y'all to meet and introduce you to my beautiful family. This is my wife, Rudolfina. This is my son, Edgar. They were here because, man, we got a lot to talk about today. My son is growing up just like my son in real life. He's getting big. He's walking around, tearing stuff up, saying dad, dad, when I walk in the room, man, you know I'm proud. I, I got to throw that out there. And the developers of Medieval Dynasty, they have done another major update, roadmap update number three. And man, I can't believe what all they put in this. So in this episode, I was going to be, build the pigsty. That was my next progression. Y'all know I took a little break. Uh, from the game i wanted them to update and add some more and and i had to learn because there was so much they added they actually had some previous updates so we're going to look at a lot of that's what we're going to do in this episode just kind of look through at some of the things hey son now oh, look at daddy look at that daddy boy you look just like your papa and we're going to talk about the new roadmap three update so we'll keep this one kind of quick i'm gonna just go around and do a few random things so let me know down in the comments what you think about the updates, what you think about the developers and what they're doing and how they're adding to this game, man. Shout out to the devs. They're doing an amazing job. I got to give much respect to the developers. So let's get it going, guys. So one of the major things that they added was alcohol. Yes, they got alcohol. We can build orchards now and we can make wine, we can make hops, and we can make alcohol. So what I want to do real quick, let's look at the management tab and let's see where this unlocks. Uh, we'll be under farming. You got your pig style, you got your barn food storage, all of that. More should be added here, okay? You got your cow shed, your stable, which is late game. I think horses should come out sooner, too. Uh, even if it's just like a pony or like one little horse, you can't have the full stable, but just a way to move fast. The apiary is 9,000. Now, apiary, they also have beekeeping. Yeah, that that's, uh, that's going to take a while. We're only at 3,000. So unless the points increase, unless your XP goes up a lot faster, with the orchard, they added a lot of different types, apple trees, cherry trees. Um, I need to run some food. Actually, let me go over here to the, where's my tavern? I need to run over here to the tavern. Yeah, they got apple trees, cherry trees, pear and plum trees, and they have hops. I was throwing some food in here that we got to go sell. Uh, let's get all this stew. Let's see how much room do we have, though. Now, I got these wooden bowls in here because... Now, when you craft, you got to use bowls. When we used to cook this food before, and I used to run potage and all of that, you didn't need a bowl or anything. Now, you need wooden plates and wooden bowls. Now, they also did something with a workbench. Oh, even the wheels are different. Oh, the UI is different. Like, there is so much that they changed, man. The workshop used to be basically the Smithy 1. And see, we figured this out. I'm glad they changed that. So, now the Smithy 1, Smithy 2, Smithy 3. Now there's a workshop one, workshop two, workshop three. So in the workshop, they have the woodworking table. They got the pottery wheel. They have the brewing station. You make the wine barrels for the wine and the juice press. So you can make juice. And now we get seedlings, apple seedlings, cherry seedlings. You know, we get all of these things. Plum seedling, got the hot plants. You know, we can make the juices and alcohol as well. I'm um, even with the apiary, you can make honeycomb. All right, cool. So we'll come back and we'll, you know, rearm up because we are totally defenseless. But I'm running down here to the town to sell some of this. Now, one other thing they did in the previous update. Now, look at this. They made the drop downs with the UI better. So, it's not all of those different houses and things in a way. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Little quality of life things. Now, with the hunting lodge or any of the craftables, they'll need a tool. So, you have to have the tool in there. And then it has a hit point. Now, one thing I'm wondering, though, do the tools get transferred automatically from, you know, our resource storage? Or do you have to have a worker at the resource storage and will they take it? You know, does that work now? Because that wasn't working before, but I think that was something that they wanted in there where the workers could take from the resource storage to the different stations. And on the topic of food, we have, they've added a lot more food. And this to the honeycomb with the apiary and making mead. They got like more soups, mushroom soup, porridge with berries, porridge with apples, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs with mushrooms. And now I do have my chicken coop or my hen house. And even if you have the goose house, you can take the eggs and you can make foods that should be more nutritious. We have to do some testing to see what makes the most money. But yeah, once we find that out, 
you know, we can have another product that we can sell. Okay, show me your wares. Let me sell you this stew. I was out of cabbage, so I had to sell that stew. All right, that's cool. We have 4,008, and now they have changed. So you see, I got 4,308 and eight. So instead of being round numbers, she got 8.2. They have uh, new talents as well. Skilled farmer, skilled orchard man, orchard man, carrying a stick, steady hand, headstrong. Uh, they got new animations. They got intoxication, like you can sell to me the stuff yourself, or uh, you can drink it, you can keep it. That's right, let me see if any of these guys are selling anything. One thing it also did, it reset all my skills. All my skills have been reset because of the update. So I got eight points here, three points here, three points, three points. So I got to think about where I want to put these. Now let's look quickly at some of the new foods. Like here's your soup, here's your mushroom soup. Okay, you need the three different types of mushroom meat and a wooden bowl. It's 10 food. It's 20. Now most of these are free, uh, but you don't get a lot of, you know, hunger feel for your food. It's only worth 20. But most of these are free. These are free items you can just pluck. And the meat you can just get from hunting. So eh, it probably balances out. Let's see the scrambled eggs. Wow, 35. A wooden bowl and three eggs. Now scrambled eggs might be a good little hustle. Because you get 50 for these and it's only 0.2. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and use scrambled eggs now. Because they're probably going to nerf this. This might go down to 25 or 20. 35 food, only 0.2 so you can carry a lot of it. And you get 50 and all you need is three eggs. Oh man, I might make two hen coops now. Two hen houses or maybe make a uh, goose house as well. Let's go to the tavern too. Okay, flatbread, oat rolls, multigrain bread. Let's look at multigrain bread. Okay, you get 100 and 40 70 food but wow you need flour wheat oat rye bucket of water five and eggs now they also have this bucket of water but that's wrong that's portion of water because a bucket of water would be huge five buckets of water those are like multi-gallons actually one bucket i think has like five uses so five i can't think of the term but it has like five different portions so that's what this is um, or 10 portions with a bucket of water so let's see, they got scrambled eggs with mushrooms. Okay, that's 40. And you make 60. You just need to add a mushroom to a vegetable soup. Porridge with berries. Okay, 20 berries. The bowl, the oat grain. 40, 20 plus water. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And let's look at Tavern 3. So they still got the fish here. I think they need to move the fish to earlier. Like, what's the point of making this fish tart all late in game? You got to get 10,000 for this. You got the fish huts and you get all these fish, but you can't cook anything with them. They need a lower tavern one fish recipe. Even if they want to leave these tarts, we need something that we can make with the fish. That kind of stinks. Okay, but look, plum tarts. Ooh, 80 food, 165. Okay, you need plums, you need eggs, buckets of water. Okay, flour, poppy seed pie. Wow, poppy seed pie. I wonder if that gets you in a euphoric state similar to alcohol mmm is those like herbal brownies mmm cherry pie okay pour with appleberry juice apple juice okay wine bottle wow plum apple juice gotta have a wine bottle plum juice plum wine cherry wine you get 250 285 for pear wine 300 for plum wine wow wow what about me me's 240 oat ale 150 okay wheat beer 285 yeah we gonna start to hustle this but again it's so in game yeah i really wish they would allow this early hopefully they'll change that let's give some feedback let me know what you think about how late game this is and the fact that we really can't utilize it until you put hours in and really really developed by the time you get to this you won't really need to make a lot of money so what do you think about that what do you think about the horses being so late game the except the orchards and eh, i don't know about that i don't know about that but yeah give me your opinion give me your opinion so again they've added a lot to the tech tree the talent uh, they've done things with the ui letting you know when you need a tool they let you know when the people need certain things now i wonder can i change this field to hops eh. can i grow poppy right now whoa yeah i'm gonna try to put poppy here i'm gonna see what that does okay manage assignment change plant type oh we growing poppy even if well, i was sure i need the seeds so it's not gonna work but even if i go buy the seeds and grow it and maybe we can't harvest it or turn it into anything yet i want to see if this will grow i'm gonna check back in the next one or in the future episode i'm gonna find some poppy seeds and see if we can grow these we shall find out we shall find out so yeah guys i mean this is a look at some of the new things that are available 
come back at my next one. I'm gonna build the pig sty, and we're gonna continue on. We're gonna work towards we're gonna work towards developing and crafting and building some of these new buildings. Yes, we'll see what we can do with this poppy. We'll also build the workshop and start working with that to see what we can develop as well. There, all right. And again, guys, any tips, any info, hit me in the comment box. Let me know any tips, any info is always appreciated. If guys also hit me and let me know what you think about the devs and what they've been doing for this game so far, man. I think they're doing an amazing job and I got to give a shout out to the devs for their hard work and the dedication to this game. And I'm really, really enjoying it. All right. So hit that like button for me. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this so others can check this out. And we'll be back in the next one, guys. And let me know what else you would like to see in the game and what else you want to see me do. Or if you got any tips for what I can do. All right. Charles Macro, Medieval Dynasty, thank you for stopping through. And I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I wanted to thank you one more time for supporting Charles Macro and the Macro Elite. You are elevating your logic, your intellect, and your thinking every day. Now, if you want to support, there are other ways that you can do so. So check out this little promo, and it'll tell you some ways that you can truly be down. And thank you once again. And for you guys that want to support further, go to charlesmacro.com slash shop. There you can buy t-shirts, you can buy other merch like coffee mugs, onesies, bargains, caps. You also can support by buying and checking out my music. I have the I Run The Game album that is out on all the digital retailers, the iTunes, the Spotify's. And in fact, if you're on Spotify, go on there, I run the game, the album, Charles Macro Music. Look that up and add me to a playlist, all right? That will help me get up on the charts as well and earn money off that music if you're feeling it like you're feeling the intro, okay? And go subscribe to the new Charles Macro Music channel, all right? You also can hit my Amazon affiliate links down below. You don't have to buy any of those products. Just click the link, then buy whatever you were planning to buy. That helps me get a little love, okay? Then we have Patreon, Cash App, YouTube membership program. I'm going to be getting subscribe star soon if you want to support that way. Of course, I'm on IG, Twitter, Discord, Facebook. Any of those social medias you want to follow me on, see some other things, some pictures, some, some regular life stuff, my photography business, uh, video, go on, on there, follow, like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys once again just for the support. Charles Macro, thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.